the formidable robot. Steven Hillenburg, creator of SpongeBob, pitched an episode about acne to Nickelodeon which they accept. A new employee who was just having his first few days there in the studio was picked to be the writer of the episode and due to Nickelodeon's request, he agreed and began to write the episode anyway. This is what the script follows. The episode would start with Squidward waking up in the morning, exhausted knowing that he needs to do his job at the Krusty Krab. Sets out from his bed, gets a shower before eating his breakfast and watching TV. He switched to a relaxing channel and settled himself while eating breakfast. This is until the channel was interrupted by a news report saying about citizens needing to stay home from their jobs due to claims of a virus spreading from a species of flowers. Not minding about the virus but joy that he was put out from work for the time being, Squidward jumps in joy knowing that he won't be forced to working with the annoying sponge. Obviously sounds like a SpongeBob style parody of the annoying orange. He then goes outside, without knowing that he wasn't supposed to and picks a flower, that flower being identical to the flower displayed on the TV earlier on. SpongeBob peeks his head out from his window and notices Squidward and asks him why he is outside, but was told that he needs to because he's having a break from his job. SpongeBob tells him that he needs to stay in because the news told them so, but Squidward denies. A back and forth then occurred before SpongeBob notices a barnacle growing on Squidward's head. He then screams in terror before peeking his head out. Confused and weirded out by how SpongeBob changed his mood towards him, he looks far off to the distance behind and wonders about why SpongeBob suddenly screamed at him before walking back to his house. The whole time not noticing the barnacle on his head. Throughout the script for the episode, Squidward begins to start itching and gets distracted about it while also growing more barnacles around his body as he still doesn't notice. Just until the near end of the script. At night time, Squidward was beginning to lay on his bed and sleep, but however feels something preventing him from laying on his bed. Annoyed, Squidward gets up and notices the barnacles on his arm. Startled, he tries to scratch it out but it wouldn't come off, leaving it to bulge more barnacles. Horrified, he dashes into the bathroom and looks at the mirror. He turns the light on before his eyes widen into a set of terror. Tons of barnacles were now covering his body, partially on his head and mid through his arm. Now panicking, Squidward scrambles each drawer to find something just so he could remove the barnacles out of him and finds a tweezer. He slowly pulls one of the barnacles from his head painfully but screams as he does this, sprouting more barnacles on him. Each time he keeps doing this as more barnacles began to form on him before he falls onto the ground, screaming intensely as the camera stays still at the mirror, not showing his demise as it cuts outside of his house until fading into a morning. SpongeBob wakes up and checks Squidward's house, wondering if he's okay. It slowly pans to the window and then fading back to the bathroom. Squidward was now coated entirely with barnacles, looking like an actual barnacle pit as a dramatic scare choir would play while it stayed at his corpse. With that, the script ended there. Nickelodeon after reading the script was suddenly felt that this was disturbing for an episode and told the employees that it's meant to be about acne, not a spreading virus. They then scrapped the script and ended up making their idea for the episode. The employee was distraught about it and ended not liking it, resulting on Nickelodeon to tell him to either accept it or leave immediately. The employee ended up choosing the second option and did so. Never been seen again after its events. Recent whereabouts of the script was either destroyed or was kept in the vault for quite a long time. However when asked if it's in the vault, Nickelodeon would always say that they never made the script and think that someone somehow managed to put it here in the first place. The person who made the script never resurfaced ever again. Thus the mystery behind the script continues through deep depths of the internet to this day.